What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about what's on my iPhone X. Finals week is coming. It's almost here. I don't know if you can see these whiteboards, but they are just filled with a bunch of stuff. Luckily, I didn't write what's on these whiteboards. I'm going to take this casing off because it is so dirty. But what a perfect segue into what case I'm using. So I am using the OtterBox Statement Series. And this case is really functional because it's transparent, so it allows me to see the beautiful back of my iPhone X and it's still functional because it has these like rubber guards which decreases the impact of a fall. Ever since I had an iPhone I would use the OtterBox Defender case to prevent my phone from cracking but I really like this case because it's lightweight and it still allows me to see the beautiful design of my iPhone. So let's start off with a tour of my iPhone X. So I have the silver 64 gigabyte iPhone X when it comes to my home screen, I don't have much organization. The only organization I have is for my most important social media app, which is Instagram. And I like to have Instagram in the top left corner on the third page. Don't ask why. I think I like the feeling of just swiping left and clicking the top left corner. I'm pretty much a go with the flow type of guy, wherever the location is where the app is downloaded, that's where it's gonna stay. However, I do have one folder and that is my senior design folder. I got my home screen and my lock screen from this app called Vellium, V-E-L-L-U-M. I could totally be pronouncing it wrong, but this app is really cool because I wanna make sure my lock screen always has like nice color to it and kind of some flair, but I like my home screen to be less aggressive, more calming, just usually like a primary color, like for example, I'm using, I have a blue color because I want my apps to be able to stand out. Valium is a really cool app because it has different categories and hand-picked wallpapers. So if you're looking for a daily wallpaper, it has a daily wallpaper category. If you're looking for mountains and the beach, it has mountains and it has the beach. It has a lot of cool photographs that specific photographers have taken. Now that we've taken a tour of my iPhone X, let's get into my top 10 apps. My top 10 apps for college essentials, productivity, and creativity. My first app, my favorite social media app, Instagram, which is this really cool app that allows you to add images to your feed. And you could look at images of your friends and your family and other celebrities, pretty much whoever you want. It's a pretty cool app. I also really like using the hashtags when it comes to Instagram because whenever I'm visiting a city, I like to go to that city's hashtags and see some cool places that other people have visited, whether it's restaurants, sightseeing. My second favorite app is YouTube Studio, and YouTube Studio is an app that allows you to see the analytics of your YouTube channel. And this is so helpful to someone like me who's in college and I'm always on the, I'm always on the go, and I'm not always by my laptop, so when I'm just like maybe walking around campus, I can see how well my channel is doing. I can see where my views are coming from. I can see whenever I get a new subscriber. I can see how many views I've gotten within the last 48 hours. And a really nice feature is being able to comment on the fly. Number three is Spotify. Yes, I love Apple and I love my Apple products, but I just don't love Apple Music. And the reason being is because Spotify's, I think Spotify's interface is a lot easier to use, more intuitive. I also really enjoy the playlist option and I enjoy being able to create my own playlist, edit playlists that other people have made and it gives me my own daily mix and I just find it easier to find um, different artists and different types of music a lot easier than Apple Music. Number four is Lightroom and Lightroom is a part of Adobe's Creative Cloud but they also have a mobile version that you can use. See, I really don't like creating, what, I don't like creating, I'm a YouTuber. What I meant to say is I don't like using presets or filters as much, I like creating my own presets and my own filters. And Lightroom is a really easy app that allows you to download uh, whatever image you have from your camera roll onto the application and allows you to edit the lighting, the exposure, you can change the color. There's really nothing you can't do. So Lightroom is a really important aspect to my workflow when it comes to adding images to Instagram, uploading thumbnails, or just editing images in general. My fifth favorite app, which is Plant Nanny. So I'm gonna give you the rundown on Plant Nanny. Plant Nanny is this app that notifies you whenever you need to have a bottle of water. So you enter in your body information, and based off of your body information, pretty sure it's just weight, it will tell you how many bottles of water you should drink. 
So your, your goal is to grow your plant, make your plant happy. So if you don't drink more than like 75% of the bottles of water that you're supposed to drink, your plant's gonna be sad. And if you do that, if you don't drink enough water for like one or two days, your plant will be really sad. Actually, it'll be dying. And you don't want your plant to die because then you have to bury it and you'll feel really guilty inside. So make sure you drink all your water, your plant will be happy and it'll dance. I've killed a lot of virtual plants. Number six is Twitter. Although Instagram is my number one app, Twitter isn't that far behind. I find myself using Twitter a lot more. For some odd reason, when I was younger, I used to think Twitter was dead, and that's not right. That's not true at all. Twitter is where all things go viral. Also, Twitter keeps me updated with my news. It's a lot easier to reach out to other creators and just see what's going on around the world. Number seven. Number seven is Grilled. I am a part-time reseller. Grilled is an app that allows you to sell clothing, accessories, shoes, all that cool stuff. But it's really cool because it has specific categories of clothing or tennis shoes or whatever that you want to sell. There's Grails, which is like higher end stuff. There's Hype, which is, you know, Supreme, Babe, you know, it could be Nike or Adidas. And it also has Core, which is like Zara and H&M. I love, love Grails. You do not have to worry about waiting seven days for someone to win a bid to purchase your item. All they do is message you an offer. And if you accept the offer, then all they have to do is click the purchase button and it goes straight to your PayPal. And you can literally have the money in your account instantly. So like literally in minutes of the purchase. Grailed also has a read section that keeps you updated with the latest fashion trends and what is going on in the fashion world. Number eight, PayPal. So fun, right? No, PayPal is amazing, especially being in college because in college, like I have to park a lot and parking sucks in college, but there's this really cool app called Park Mobile and it is linked to PayPal. So I can just park on the fly and since it's already linked to my PayPal account, I can just extend my parking meter whenever I want to. You can also transfer your funds instantly from PayPal to your card within minutes. And I also love using PayPal because their customer service is A1. Not to forget that PayPal is compatible with Face ID. Number nine is Park Mobile. This is so cool. The last three apps I just mentioned all kind of intermingle with each other and are connected in some way. Ah, the power of technology. Park Mobile, pretty straightforward. There's an activity section which shows you your history of where you've parked and how much you've spent. As you can see, I like driving on campus a lot. There's also a park section that shows you which zones are nearby which is really nice and you can reserve a specific parking spot number 10 last but not least the cash app zero dollars what cash app is really cool especially being in college i can't tell you how many times i've spent money for my girlfriend on something or like bought some food for my friends when we're studying also when I don't have any cash and I want to support uh, some of my friends who are doing like a donut fundraiser, maybe not a donut fundraiser, but a fundraiser that sells donuts, I can just give them my cash app code and send them some moolah. So there you all have it. You've taken a tour of my iPhone, see my home screen, my lock screen. You've seen my top 10 apps for college productivity, creativity, a little bit of my workflow. Comment below a couple apps that you all find useful. I'd really like to check them out. My shirt's a little tight. I need to get a new one on that note. I will see you all next week. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video at all and hit that subscribe button for your boy. See you next week. Peace.